Hello everyone and welcome to yet another live stream. It's a solo stream. Uh, Will's visiting. I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, but that's okay. It's just you and me tonight. We're gonna have some fun. I've got something very, very special lined up for you and me as well. It's actually something that I uh, want to play unlike most of the games that we've been playing for the last... Man, it's been like three months since I've played a game on stream that I've actually wanted to play. That's an exaggeration. We played a bunch of Apex, love that game, but it feels like we were kind of suffering deliberately. But I've got something special for you guys tonight. I have the coin game. So let me show you what this game is. Something special here, folks. This is the coin game. Um, it's kind of weird. It's basically like, you know, you go to an arcade and you've got those, like, you got ski ball but then you've also got those weird coin machines, and they're all based around tickets, and you're in the tickets, or you go to a carnival, and you've got, like, ticket games, and you got prize games. This is a, this is a game that has all of that. So let's just, uh, I played it for maybe an hour and a half. Let's just go from there, and I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. Okay, got some clothing options here. Oof. I'm with stupid. That's a classic. Uh, first bug. Sometimes it doesn't let you pick your player. There we go. Okay. I'm going to load this save. I've already got going. Whew. Pretty excited. This is this is a weird game. So I heard about this on the Giant Bombcast, courtesy of Giant Bomb, one of the best gaming podcasts. Highly recommend it. Um, they discussed it for a couple minutes, and the the pitch, elevator pitch, is it's your birthday. Your birthday party's at an arcade and have fun but things uh, you'll see what i'm talking about things things are a little whew, things get a little bit special around here okay let's see i'm at the ufo arcade you know what i, I think i'm starting this off in the wrong place let's take a limo to my real birthday party yep here's a limo here comes the chauffeur Sorry if it's dark. This game, I, it's daytime because it's your birthday party. I'm sorry, it's nighttime. It's also just really dark. So much screaming. All right, let's go in here. Oh, thanks, guys. It's a birthday party. Thanks, Uncle Phil. Oh, I got all this free stuff. I got free soda. I gotta drink a bunch of these sodas. Oh, yeah! Give me another one, please. Okay, wait, come on. Yeah! Give me that soda! Got a little chest, got some balloons. Pinata. That's a plant. It's really dark in here. Okay, let's go see. It's... I don't know that things go wrong. It's just... Weirdly accurate. Look at this prize counter. Let's see how many tickets I have so far. Oh, I gotta... Look, I have my card. And it has my my tickets on it. Hey, if it isn't the big winner. <gasps> Got fifty two hundred tickets. I think what I really want is. Oh, did they add a slingshot? I don't think any of these games, these items are like, actually good. Hey Schmidtstone, it's like you can't use them. They just look cool. Thirty five thousand. There was one that I was going for. Wait, these cycle. I think I wanted the Rasta banana. Anyways, let's play some games. How much money I got? Oh, you can't see it. So in the bottom right, it says $30 and 50 cents. Uh, let's play all these games. I'm gonna play this one. I don't really understand this game. I know I'm supposed to like, I think I have to put the key through the hole. And then I, Oh, that's close. Oh. 
Yeah, that's right, Zach. No will. Try again here. Okay, all right. Oh. I got it! I got it! You don't understand. I've tried this maybe 30 times. Okay, what did I get? 1,000 tickets, baby! Yes. Okay, Claw Madness. I'm gonna play all these games. Let's take a tour first. So we got a bunch of these coin dunkers. I once was in an arcade and I found like three middle-aged men aggressively playing a series of coin dunkers. Just dumping them. Like 30, 40 dollars into it, just trying to get it to crash over. Stacker, treasure in the sand, the spinner. Okay, this one, a lot of these translate very well to digital. This one does not translate at all. This is the one where you like, mm, pump it, doesn't work well. Ball drop. More coin droppers. Ooh, this is the swing arm. Ski ball. Mega drop. That's a weird one. Okay, let's just let's start playing some of these. Claw machine. Okay, what do I want? I can barely read these numbers. Let's just go for that purple one. Ooh. Oh no, I think it's ten tickets. Ugh. Okay, I get a couple credits, so... Let's go for that orange one. Oh, no, that's no good. That's no good. Hi, stream mom. Thanks for joining. Okay, all right. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't know about this one. <gasps> Oh, the orange is just 25. That's okay. I got some tickets out of this. I think I have another go, though. Okay, I think the yellow is 500. No way. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I'm so close, folks. Okay, let me get my tickets. Okay, all right. Claw Machine Larry's. Another claw machine here. I think I want to go for one of these R's. <laughs> Too inaccurate. I think I didn't win enough money. <laughs> I, think, I was about to say, if you win... You're absolutely right. If you win at this, then it's inaccurate. Okay, let's see. I have one at a claw machine in real life, though. Which is probably my crowning arcade machine achievement. Oh, what is that? <gasps> That's a 100 and a 10. No! <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I had two of them. That's too far. Oh no, wait. I went through the hole on the R. That's, that's a good one. How many credits I got left? Okay, all right. I've seen people on YouTube win it a lot, but I'm also wary of those videos because I feel like they're just, you know, 10,000 take videos. <gasps> oh God, I did it again. It would have been 260 tickets. No, I don't want to play that again. All right, let's play this. This is uh, Dizzy Bird. This one's weird. Okay, so it's gonna flash. Uh... So I gotta get to the green and I, I'm thwacking this ball down here. Okay, here we go. The closer you get, the more tickets you get. I didn't do a good job there. Okay. Okay. Roughly the same position. Oh, that's not far enough. I'm done with this game. 
That one's hard. Okay, Mega Drop. I like this one. This, you're dropping the balls. What's the jackpot? 389. Oh. <gasps> 30. 30 tickets. Not bad. Cool. Oh. Ten's not good. Okay. I do remember this game is this game is slow. It's got like a weird pop-up delay. Sitting at 50 tickets. You want a ghost plushie from Pac-Man in Brighton on the arcade docks. That's pretty good. I want a little Batman plushie. Oh. What is that? <gasps> That's pretty good. 166. Oh, I, I forgot my tickets over there. You got to pick up the tickets off the ground. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, your brother had to try and climb inside the machine? That's bonkers. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Ski ball. This game does something very smart, which is... So if you were to cheat at this game, right, you would just pick your line and then stick with it. But I'm not moving the mouse. Every time the ball resets, it's changing your mouse. So you can't just like stay at the same position and just click, click, click. It's resetting it. So you have to reset your throw angle every time, which is great. Love it. Good game design. Oh, I don't go for the hundreds. Hundreds are for losers and I'm a loser, which means I probably should go for the hundred. It's just too hard. Yes! Okay, here we go. The other thing about this game, love it, but the other thing that makes it not accurate to real arcades, they give you way too many tickets. <laughs> like that last game, I won, what, 160 tickets? If this was a real arcade, I would have won one tenth. How many tickets did I want? See, I just won 250 tickets. Way too many tickets. Oh, let's do the speed drop. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So the bucket's rotating and you're trying to drop all 50 balls into the bucket. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, 37 balls. I can do better. Hi, Gabriel. Thanks for joining. Yeah, this, this game is amazing. I think it's $8.99 on Steam. 100% worth it. And this is not it, folks. Stick around. There's, there's more to this game. I just love this one so much. Oh, this game's tough because there's... There's also a time limit. Ooh, 44 balls. That's pretty good, folks. I'm proud of myself there. Let's pick up my tickets. All right, let's go over here. Let's play All-Star Hockey. I think this is my favorite rip-off arcade game. So if you don't know what happens, let me just show you. There's this hockey puck here. I'm pointing at my monitor, which you cannot see. Um, so when I click the mouse button, the puck moves over and tries to slide something into the slot. So part of it is like, you just want to get anything in there. So you shoot for a crowd, but you also... It's a 500! 
Just got 500 tickets, folks. Killing it. 500 tickets. Yes. Okay, here we go. Cuckoo coins. Okay, you gotta pick a good one. I think it's this one. Where is it? There it is. Okay, all right. We gotta put a lot of money in. Oh, thanks, Gabriel. Yeah, that's uh, that's Jake who does all the um, the Monday videos, the witness stuff. If you haven't yet, I would highly recommend, um, if you enjoyed the witness video. Mm, that's a good question. If you enjoyed the witness video, Honestly, any of the, the Spotlight series, we have a playlist. They have some good stuff. We also do documentaries. So we have two documentaries up, one on Epitasis, which is an indie game, but we also have one that just went up called The Bank Vault Arcade. It's about this arcade. Not a coin, like, ticket arcade like this, but an actual, like, retro 8-bit, 16-bit arcade that is inside a bank vault in Jersey. We did a short doc on that. It's a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right. I think I'm, I think there's like a strategy to this. It's, it's, you don't want to stack your coins. You want them to line up in a row like that. So they push off and you also want to just slam them. Hi, where in next, next, hi, where, where in next, hi, where, next, next. Woo, got coins. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff. How many credits I got, three? Yes! Is that gonna work? Oh, that was that was a successful play, folks. Twenty-one tickets. That's lame. I didn't get a whole lot for that. Okay, here we go. This is the one that uh, you know you, you come up to it and you grab it and you go, yeah. You spin the wheel, kind of like Price is Right. This is, this may be the, the only, or one of the very few games in this game that doesn't work well as a digital game. Let's do it. Ah. Yay, 10 tickets, no thank you. This one, I'm not seeing this one in real life, but I really like it. So you have a time limit, and you have this shovel, and you're trying to push off. As many of these as you can. here and hit this one. Get him. <gasps> what do you mean I hit the shovel? It took all of them from me. That's so messed up. So I can't hit the blue shovel. doing as good a job this time. Ugh. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take 20 tickets. There's also, uh, I don't know if you see it, but there's a, there's a leaderboard that pops up on the side. It's probably too small for you guys to read. I have this at 4K and I can't change the resolution and it's small for me to read as well. But there's an online leaderboard of like how many tickets you've won for that play for the game, how many tickets you've won total on that game, how many tickets you've won total in your save. It's cool stuff like that. All right, this is just more of the Dunko. 
Oh no, we gotta play stack him. I hate this one. I'm so bad at it. Here we go. Terrible at it. Oh, I messed up already. Oh no. <laughs> I hate that one. I hate it. That one's bad. Okay, so we did all those. Let's buy a sodi pop. I'm thirsty, mommy. Okay. Oh, let's count our tickets. Let's see how many tickets we earn this time. So there's that leaderboard on the side. So I've earned 7,300 tickets total. 2,000 tickets just since the start of the stream. Great job, folks. Um, so if you're thinking that's it, that's not it, folks. That's not it. I got more to show you. There is another arcade. Oh, it's daytime. I've never seen daytime before. There's another arcade. So let's take the golf cart to the second arcade. Whoa. Yeehaw, boys. I think I take a right here. Oh yeah, I take a right. Uh-oh, car coming. Oh, that was my limo. I like how on this golf cart they accurately modeled the uh, the half plastic windshield. <laughs> you could just see the plastic line for it. Uh, Stream mom, those were those were robot NPCs. So for some reason, you're the only human in this world, and everybody else is a is like a weird like snack robot. Oh no, there's a car coming. Oh no. I gotta go faster. He's catching up to me. Guys, he's catching up to me. I'm, I'm a little scared here. Don't do it! Oh. <laughs> it's out of fuel? I didn't know my golf cart could run out of fuel. Hi, Maggie. Do you have any fuel for my golf cart? It ran, it ran out of fuel. You better get pushing. I know, it's okay, the arcade's right over here. <gasps> Look, that guy's got a backhoe. So that so we started out at Larry's, Larry's Arcade. That's where my birthday party was, funded by my rich uncle. But I also, um, I think I paid money to run the golf cart. Hi, Virex. Here we go. Here we go. This is the UFO Arcade. Oh, look at these cool cars. Okay, here we go. UFO Arcade. Popcorn Peyton friends. Let's go and let's see what this one is. Whoa! We got golf carts over there. I mean, go-karts. Wait, first things first, I gotta get more money. Here's how you get more money. You get in the money machine. Y'all seen one of these before. Oh, I gotta grab some money. I gotta fund my arcade habit. I gotta get more money. This game's so good. Yes! Give it to me, please. Please, more, more, more. More, 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 more. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. How much money did I get? $64! That's pretty good. Uh, I think... I think 
we're not gonna do go karts yet. I know you're waiting for it. We gotta do all these arcade machines first. Butterfly catcher. Oh, they definitely look like a massive ripoff. Thankfully, in this game, that's like how you recharge your card. Oh, 100 tickets. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Ugh. This one's so much harder when it comes out from the center than when it does the sweep. I'm just terrible at these. Come on, come on, come on. Got 100 tickets, I'm happy. I'm happy, I'm not gonna try it again. Mermaids from space, coin pusher. Ooh, you know what? I think these coin pushers are basically the same game. But if any of them are ready to pop, I think I can get... I think I can get that 50 right there. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot. You gotta get these coins to go flat. Oh, that's a good idea. I've seen people do the shirt technique where they like open up their shirt and use that as like a, like a reverse parachute in a way. Oh, I'm so close to that 50. Push it. Yes! Cool. Oh, I still have credits. Whoops. I ruined that one, didn't I? I don't think I'm getting anything off that. 85 tickets, not bad. It's weird, it's like I won less money tickets on this game than I did the uh, the butterfly catcher, but I had more fun with this game. Okay, ski ball, I don't need to do Cosmo ski ball. <gasps> Throw the ball at the clowns. Love it, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Why do these look like Bernie Sanders? <laughs> I think there's a sweet spot where you can down two at the same time by hitting right between them. 220. Or 230. Oh, that's a lot of tickets. Oh no, I left those tickets over there, didn't I? I'm a dingus. I'm leaving tickets on the floor everywhere. Maybe I left tickets at the other arcade as well. Cool, okay. What else we got over here? This one's weird, it's called Iceberg Bounce. It's it's like fun to play. It's kind of fun, honestly. Got a bonus round. Trying to hit the yellow, that's the good one. 60, what do I get? 85 hundo. Woo, 400 tickets. That's a good one. Okay, I had it. Milk toss. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. I only aim for the big kahuna. Ooh, that was a bad throw. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. That was not close. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty tickets. Oh. Two ninety total. This is fun. Cool. Okay, what else we got? Prizes here. Let's just take a look at these prizes real quick. Oh, we got all these alien plush. UFO toy models, pretty cool. 7,300 tickets. <gasps> Hoverboard. That's what I'm saving towards. I'm not going to get it this, this stream, though. Why don't you get a sparkler? Can I move you around? Oh, I can. I can just drag him around. Popcorn Pete. Hi. Let's play this one. Oh, this one. I remember watching a YouTube video. Guy built a robot to like help him cheat at this. And he basically proved that the game cheats you. Okay, so I gotta stop it directly in front of me. <laughs> Look, everybody comes running to me. That's awesome. Jackpot. That's awesome. All right, let's play this. This is Whackabot. That seems a little weird, to be honest with you. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I can just hold down the mass style. Auto whack. Auto whack does not sound appropriate. That's me. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's see. This is the um, clock tower. Guide ball to bottom and win. Oh, I see. It lights up along the bottom. Let's play one more time. Oh, that's hard. There was a 500 down there, but that's... That's too hard. Oh, wow. Okay, got more jackpot machine. Popcorn Pete and Friends... This one has playing cards. I think I can play, I think I can get both of these. These playing cards, let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, this is the weird one that has the door. So you see, I'm trying to get it through that door. Pete reminds me of Spongebob. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm dropping. Here we go. Yeah, push it all. 
Oh no, I'm not gonna. I got a lot of them. Cool. Okay, let's see. Cow catcher. Let's play this at least once. Let's see if I can win myself a cow. Okay. Where am I going? Let's try this one. Ooh, not bad. Oh no, I'm gonna get screwed on this, aren't I? Ah! Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. I'll go for the head this time. Oh, no, wait. But I may grab something. Oh, that's a big old nothing. I don't think I get another try. A wormhole? Let's see what happens here. Yo, I hit the jackpot immediately. Too bad it was only 187. What is that ball doing? Oh. <laughs> I was worried it was glitching out. Oh. Hey, looking good. Hey. Not bad. Not bad. 232. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I think that's it for the ticket games here. So let's go count my tickets real quick. Okay, here we go. Sixteen hundred tickets. I've got nine thousand total. Okay, folks. I know what you've been waiting for. It's time to go play. Go cards. Let's do it. Here we go. Best lap twenty three three oh nine. Here we go. Out of my way, Munchkins. Squeezed me. This is so hard playing this on a keyboard. <laughs> oh. That guy was inside me for a while. This is actually very realistic for go-karts in terms of like there's somebody slow and you want to pass them but the track is so small that it's it's hard to find a pace, place to pass them. There we go. Pretty good. Oh. New best lap. Oh, I got stuck. That was fun. Wait, what's that? 
Laser tag! I gotta run to laser tag! Let's do it. Laser tag. Okay, here we go, blue team. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh no, I just noticed I have limited shots. Does it recharge? Oh, it does not. Out of the way, Goober. Who's shooting at me? This guy on the way back to recharge. No! I did it once with some co-workers. It was actually pretty fun. We probably had like 20 people gone. <laughs> That's good stuff. It's like surprisingly fun. Hi, you can't see me. Show your face, coward. There you go. Ah! Ow! Ah! Game over. Six fifteen. 650 tickets? Dang, that's bonkers. I gotta go count these tickets. So I remember laser tag. The thing that really surprised me about it was there was this one guy who showed up. He was probably in his early 20s. And he knew everybody. He knew all the workers there. And you could tell he was a regular. And he was just like, yeah, I'm gonna play some laser tag. And he hops in there. He puts his vest on. We go in there. The round starts. And he just disappears in terms of like... You could tell he was a laser tag professional because he taught me the pro strat. And the pro strat is, it doesn't matter if people can see you. It doesn't even matter if people are shooting at you. What matters is if they can, if they are, if they have visibility and access to hitting the targets on your vest, which is usually, you know, like shoulder, shoulder, one in the front, one in the back. So his strategy was literally to just move around as quickly as possible. No running though, but move around as quickly as possible and like jump and dance. So like if he was in the open, he was just constantly like doing this. So it was almost impossible to like get a clean shot on him. It was crazy. Really, really good. Um, and he was like covered in sweat by the end of it. And I was like, this guy's cool. All right, let's, um, there's another part that I'm gonna take you guys to. It's called the pier. Let's just go there. Thanks for the ride, Limo. Okay, cool. It's a carnival, folks. Oh yeah, let's go ride some rides. I need the 25. Through the 8x ride pass. Thank you. What is this? Not a scam. Coin pushing and dozing. Oh, it's just more coin pushers. We don't need to play that. Customer service out of order. Oh, yeah, I want to ride this. I want to ride this. I don't know that I've ever ridden one of these in real life.
I this game would be amazing in VR until you get to these rides, and then it would be terrifying. I would have to close my eyes for this part. Oh my goodness, this is rather extreme. Wee. I don't have control over it though, like like some of the rides give you. Mm. This is fun. What happens if I exit the ride? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, let's go counterclockwise. What is this? Bumper cars. Let's go party. I love bumper cars so much. Imagine if there was an adult version of bumper cars where you put on like a bunch of safety gear and you just go like 20 miles per hour into people. Oh, I got the air. I want to do a head-on with somebody. I can't really reverse. Oh yeah, I hear you stream, Mom. Like the un unnecessary things and how they're like clearly rigged. <laughs> Oh, I rattled him good. This is fun. Let me hop out, though. Thanks. Is that an ice cold beer tent? What? I'm 21, right? Come on, let me in the beer tent, please. Ugh, that's lame. Ooh, Ferris wheel. Ooh! Who is this? I'm gonna check my phone. That's what you do on Ferris wheels. Let's see, got a calendar reminder that I need to live stream. Done. Um, not really funny, just more dad humor jokes. The family chat group. Done. Uh, oh, we're live on YouTube. The coin game, got it. Work email, got it. Okay, check my phone. Whoa! It's pretty big. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, that smokestack is where the UFO arcade was. Oh yeah, definitely super cheap prizes. And they like feel cheap. So you're like, I spent $20 in money to win this game over multiple attempts, and all I get is this like 20 cent prize. Okay, I think I'm ready to leave this. Okay. Little let down so far. <laughs> Excuse me. Will you? Will you? Will you? We already did bumper cars. Couldn't go in the beer tent. Oh, no. What is this? What? <laughs> I think I've won a prize twice at Carnival Games. And I think both times it's the water shooter, where you shoot the water in the hole. I'm pretty good at that one. 
Whee! Where's my sweetheart? I don't have a sweetheart to take to the carnival. Okay, all right. Turns out these thrill rides, not as exciting as I hoped for. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, he's got he's got the headset on and everything. Love it. Okay, I want it. I want it. Keep your hands on the side of the line, please. Okay, what am I doing? Pro. Oh, I just have to push it up and over? I got a game credit. I want this gold hammer. We got a winner here, folks. Let's roll again. Let's see what happens. Felt like it was, uh, that. Come test your skills. Oh, got it. So it's got to land in that divot. But I got a hammer, right? Is that mine? Step right up, folks. That's mine now. Pro Roller is the easiest game to win. Put it in my inventory. Got a little hammer now. One dollar, one oh. roll. Just say it easy. Yeah, I could imagine getting motion sick on those. Carnival rides are one of those things where they, they don't treat you nicely. <laughs> They say, you want to spin in circles? Fine, here you go. And then they just hurl you. Ooh, all right. We got a sniper here, folks. Got a sniper. All right, let's see. Yes. Aim for that yellow one. So close. Yes. Got two game credits. I think I want this hot dogger. Hey, nice job, winner. Here you and go. I want this crayon. Hey, nice job, winner. Here you go. Did he just take my hot dog? No, I got my hot dog. Look at my hot dogger. Crayon on my hot dogger. Add that to my inventory. Come on down, folks. Pop a balloon. Pop a balloon. Ooh, what do they have for sale? Deep fried dough elephant ears. Welcome back here for you, little big winner. I want an elephant here. Wait a minute. Uh, you guys can probably barely see it, but there is like a... I have a gun. Oh, it's a rubber band gun. Uh, that's pretty cool. What's this, flashlight? A oh, flashlight. I need this dough. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, so I... I learned I have problems with motion sickness very recently because... When I was like 12, I went on a like a four-seater airplane and I got motion sick, but I just thought that's because it was a tiny airplane. But, um... I never had problems with motion sickness other than that until I got VR. And there's certain VR games Let's that give go. me motion sickness. So I have to be careful with it. I only play it like 30 minutes at a time. Oh no. This is the one where you have to shoot the star. But you have to shoot up the entire thing. If there's even a little bit of it left, then, then they, they take it away from you. Whoops. I've made mistakes already. No, it's got star left. A little bit of star left. Okay, one more time. Let's do it. Not enough coins. Oh, no. Where's my money box? Uncle? Uncle? I think I see it. I see it. I see the money box. I 
I need money. Yes! Yes! Yes, give me the money. I think last time I got 64. Let's see if I can beat that. What is that terrifying noise? <gasps> what did I get? What did I get? Not 64. 59. That's good enough. All right, I'm going to skip these rides because we know rides are bad now. Let's play these games. What's this one? Oh, this is the one. I love this one. It's the one I won the prize on. All right, folks. Grid's all set and about to be underway. Oh no. Oh. I'm making mistakes, but I won! Run, little doggy. Three prize credits. I get the snow cone. I think I want the snow cone. Ooh, nice pick. Really like those. Hi, Snow Cone. You looking for a couple more races now? Come on, here we go, come on. <laughs> you say Lucky Duck? Lucky Duck, two buck? Hi. Carney's staff. All right, money's down. Let's get to some winning. Okay, who do I want to pluck? I think it's this guy right here. You know, let me check. Insert. You click left mouse button to select. What's this guy? Oh, it's too far. One prize credit. I'll take it. Yeah, I want to dunk again. Okay, let's see. Who do I want? Who's looking good? You know, this guy's looking spicy right here. The spinner. Okay, come on. Two prize credits. There we go. So now I've got three prize credits. I want the cat pillow. Winner, winner, winner. Nice. Oh, look at my little cat pillow. Hey there, little one. Why don't you come on over here and pick a duck? Okay, what's this one? Five balls for five dollars. Okay, let's do it. Here you go. Oh, this is not going to end well for me. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, no. This game has really good background noise. Because I keep hearing it and thinking there's something going on in my place behind me. Okay, alright. That's just another game. I mean, or another ride. I got elephant ears. Shoot the star, I already tried. Oh, I guess it's just basketball shot. Three shots for five doll hairs. Alright, let's see what you got, kiddo. Alright. Oh, that's bad. Rims not regulation size. Oh, that's a close one. Okay, all right. Oh, I got it. Okay, I got to do this one again. I got to do this one again. I feel like I may be able to make a shot. Oh, it's so close. 
All right, I gotta aim further over here. Oh, so close, folks. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm doing it again, doing it again. Funny enough, this is the same problem I have in real life basketball, is that when I try and shoot, I can never line it up straight. Uh, okay, all right, I'm done, I'm done. Get me out of here, get me out of here. I'm bad at this, okay. So let's see, I think that's all that's... There is one more place I wanna go, if you guys don't. I want to go to hey, everybody. It's Hose here, the Hose is with Berries. What's Berries? Actually, this is not where I wanted to go, but let's see what it is anyways. Please use other door. Oh, it's Pawn Shop. Oh, they buy anything. Wait, so if I, what's the ugliest one? Definitely the crayon. So if I pick this up and I put it in here, and I press this button. I got $2.50. Oh. Hi. Oh, that's the back room. Okay, there's there's another place I want to go. I think I gotta go outside to do it. Is it Jerry's? What's a? What the? Whoa. That was a little weird. What's in here? Gas station. Cool. <gasps> lottery tickets. Let's buy some lottery tickets, folks. Hot fire. Reveal three fires, win special prize. Reveal three matching symbols to win the prize money now. Ooh. On $2.50. Cool. All right, there's one more place I want to go. I know I keep saying that, but there's one place in particular. Is it this? Oh, no, that's not it. That's not it. Is it? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to. Hi. Whoa! Oh. Okay, wait, sorry. Let me just. Okay, let's see. It's not Larry's. UFO, Berries. We went to Berries. Do we go to Jerry's? Berry's Pond. Jerry's Gas Shop. The beach? Beach is where I want to go. Fireworks stand, folks. What better way to end this out than by going to a fireworks stand? Can we? Oh, thank you. How much money do I have? Twenty-nine fifty. How much does this cost? Ten dollars each for the mortars. Oh, heck yeah. Thanks, Frankie. Boom, coming right up. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna light it. Whoa! 
Yo, it's got some good effects. Look, it's going through the box. That's good stuff. Woo! I bought some fireworks, folks. Okay, wait, I gotta go buy some... You got these bottle rockets? Monster rockets. Hey, everybody, come on over here to Frankie's Fire. Hey, little fella, what can I get you that goes kaboom? Nice shopping at Frankie's. Here's your rockets. Oh, no, I already lit it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I made a terrible mistake there, folks. Smoke bomb. Oh my goodness. I have to buy one of each, don't I? There's no better way to end a subpixel stream. Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Let's go. Let's go. Put it right here. I keep hitting I for inventory. That's not it. One, two, three. Okay, you guys ready? Let me separate these out a little bit. It's red, green, blue. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, no, it's messing up now. Oh no. Oh no. The green's gone. That's a lot of smoke, folks. Oh no. It's it's like a weird light fog effect. Did you see that? This is real bad party noises. Alright, folks, I think that's gonna do it for us tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining. I know it's been a weird solo stream. I actually had all these topics I wanted to talk about in case things got boring, but they never did. The coin game, it's $8.99 on Steam. This is not an advertisement, but as you can see, you can definitely get at least $9 worth of entertainment out of it. It's, I like the idea of it's a game where they're like, what if we just did a digital representation of all those weird coin ticket arcade games? But then they're like, yeah, but um, how about instead of just modeling the arcade, we model the town around the arcade and then other arcades, and then we model the fireworks stand. If I'm not mistaken, they're also planning to add a survival mode, which is where you have like a hunger and a sleep meter and you don't get free money. So you basically have to uh, earn enough through the arcades and the paper route to feed yourself. <laughs> and then you use the pawn shop to sell some of the prizes at the arcade to get money to buy fast food to feed yourself. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um... Folks, we are Subpixel. If you enjoyed this, please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Subpixel Team. Uh, we like to post on there when we're doing stuff like this or teasing new content or even just uh, reposting stuff that other creators we enjoy have made. Um, and if you liked this stream, you can follow us on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube uh, under the uh, username at Think. No, oh, that's my username. Under the username at Subpixel Team, uh, subpixelfilms.com takes you right to our YouTube channel, which has both their streams as well as a bunch of edited content, like the uh, documentary I talked about earlier in the stream, the Bank Vault Arcade, which is about the Morristown Game Vault, a cool retro arcade inside of a 150-year-old bank. It's crazy. Um, if you liked me personally, my content, first of all, thank you. Most people don't. Um, <laughs> I was going to find a punchline in there somewhere, but it's just... It's, it's self-deprecating enough already. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. Thursday, Thursday's another solo stream, but this time I'm going to be bringing out my Sega Dreamcast and I think my Sega Genesis as well and possibly some other retro consoles. And we're just going to like just play some retro games, be some fun. I haven't really played the Dreamcast a lot. I don't even think I've fired up my PlayStation 1 or my Dreamcast yet. So let's, uh, let's see what they're like. So that'll be Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern, a little bit later got some plans in the evening so i'm leaving some buffer time to get home and get set up 10 p.m eastern on thursday next tuesday i'm i'm hyping it now it's election season so next tuesday 9 p.m eastern i'm gonna be playing the political machine 2016 they haven't released a 2020 version yet they have promised it but this is basically a it's like a, a political campaign simulator but people liking it more to a board game because it's not super realistic uh so we're gonna be playing around with that Maybe we'll make our own candidate, try and 
take it all the way to the White House. It'll be a lot of fun because next Tuesday is Super Tuesday, a big election day in the U.S. So I figure why not have some fun with it, play some political simulators. Thank you. If you've made it this far uh, or if you're watching it in the, the rewind, however, thank you so much uh, for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like, comment, and subscribe, follow, whatever interaction you can do. It helps us out, tells us you enjoyed this content, and it also tells the uh, big bad algorithm that our content is worth watching. But even if you don't do any of that, just thanks for watching. I'm, I'm glad you guys had fun. I know I did. And uh, we'll see you guys later.